Welcome to COVID-19, Infection Prevention. As we are about to begin a new school year under the shadow of the coronavirus, it is important for you as an educator to understand how the virus spreads and what you can do to help prevent infection in yourself and your students. In this tutorial, we'll demonstrate proper hand hygiene and effective use of personal protective equipment, or PPE, to help reduce the spread of the virus and risk of infection. Before beginning class, you want to make sure your hands are properly cleaned and that you are correctly wearing the appropriate PPE. Frequent hand washing has been proven to reduce the risk of infection. It's important that you use the proper method to control the spread of the virus from hand to hand. First, be sure to wet your hands thoroughly with clean running water, either warm or cold. Next, apply the soap. Lather your hands by rubbing them together with the soap, making sure to cover the backs of your hands, between your fingers and under your fingernails. Rinse your hands thoroughly under clean running water. Be careful not to touch handles or other surfaces that may recontaminate your hands. If running water is not available, you can use hand sanitizer as an alternative. However, hand washing has proven to be a more effective method. When interacting with students, it is important to be aware of the ways the coronavirus can be spread within the classroom. Notice that the desks are spread to be six feet apart, the recommended distance for preventing the spread of the virus through the air. <coughs> Obviously, the virus can also be spread via coughs or sneezes. Droplets from a cough or sneeze can carry as much as 100,000 contagious germs into the air at speeds up to 100 miles per hour. These germs can travel as far as six to 30 feet away. The coronavirus can survive in the air for up to three hours and up to a day or longer on surfaces. Let's see what a difference it makes when using the proper method for covering your sneezes and coughs. If you don't have a tissue handy, sneeze into the inside of your elbow. Do not sneeze directly into your hands. However, if you do, immediately wash them. Be sure to sneeze or cough into a tissue and then immediately dispose of the tissue in the trash. We hope this tutorial has given you some practical methods for preventing the spread of COVID-19 and other viruses in your classroom this year. Be sure to wear the proper PPE anytime you'll be interacting with students or others in the classroom. Maintain a safe distance from your students and encourage them to remain safely apart, at least six feet whenever possible. We hope you found this tutorial useful. Now on to your next class.